Hi guys, welcome to the channel Life on Flames. This is your friend Taj. So today's recipe I'm gonna share with you is very chocolatey, very fudgy, very creamy chocolate cream cheese fudge. So let's go through with the ingredients first. 170 grams of dark chocolate chip compounds, one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, 200 grams of cream cheese with four teaspoons of icing sugar, four lightly beaten eggs, one third cup of all purpose flour, 170 grams of butter, half a cup of soft brown sugar. So first things first, we're gonna get our oven on preheat. So we're gonna set it on 160 degrees. And till that time, we're gonna get our ingredients ready. So now what we need is a small pot, a wooden spoon. Get it on a gentle heat. What we're gonna add in there now is our butter. Let it melt a little bit. Make sure it's on very gentle heat because you don't want to burn your butter. You just want it slightly melt. And then we're going to add our brown sugar in there. So as you can see the butter has already melted. Now we're going to add our brown sugar in there. Give it a good stir and just let it melt with butter in there. Our melted. What we're gonna add in there now is our chocolate compound. Give it a good mix. Keep mixing it because you don't want it to get stuck in the bottom. That will burn the chocolate. And now turn off the heat, keep mixing it until it comes out to be a very nice and smooth paste. So as you can see, very nice and smooth paste. We have turned the heat off, leave it to cool down a little bit and then we're going to put our rest of the ingredients together. So while our hot mix is getting cooled down a little bit. What we're gonna do is sift all our dry ingredients, all purpose flour, cocoa powder, one third teaspoon of baking powder. Give it a good sift. The reason why I sift all the dry ingredients because that way we get rid of all the lumps. Look, I don't want these in my fudge. You don't want these in your fudge. No one wants in their fudge. So, and what it does is it incorporates more air into the mix. Now we're going to mix our cream cheese with the icing sugar we put in there. I'm going to mix it to a smooth paste. Okay, so all our wet and dry ingredients are ready. Our mix is cooled down. Get our eggs mix into the chocolate give it a good whisk and while you're whisking just be a bit careful it might make a lot of mess especially when you add your dry ingredients to your wet but how about baking without a mess not a thing when you bake it's gonna be a bit messy nice now we're gonna add our dry mix in there. Whisk. Like I said, just be a bit careful. Because when you add your dry ingredients on top, it might just start flying out. You can be a bit messy. Just try and scrape it from all the ends. Because what happens sometimes is right in the corners there'll be drying there'll be dry ingredients or chocolate stuck and you don't want to leave it in there. So you're gonna grab all the corners, try and scrape it down. So we have got what we wanted. Nice. So now our mix is ready and I've got a rectangular tray. 
30 by 20 baking rectangle tray. If you've got a round tray or a square, feel free to use whatever tray you have. Gonna add our mix in there. Just a bit mess, like I said, baking without mess, not a thing. So now what we're gonna do is give it a good tap because the reason why we tap is all the air that's trapped inside the mix will come out. So now what we're gonna do is put our cream cheese mix onto the top of the uh, chocolate fudge mix. You can just put it like in a pattern or randomly I just do it very random and one more thing the reason why I've added icing sugar to it is because when it goes in the oven on heat sugar is the first thing to cook and what that does is give this a very nice brown color So this is all now ready to go in the oven. We'll just quickly drop it in there now. Timer is set, temperature set. Okay, so finally our oven has spoken that our fudge is ready to come out. Nice heat in there. I've got a wooden skewer over here. We're just gonna poke it in the middle. Nicely cooked. So we're gonna leave it to cool down. So we are back after six hours. Our fudge is nicely set and it's pretty firm. This is how we want it. So now what we're gonna do is slice it off, ready to serve it as a dessert. Nice and fudgy in the middle. Creamy, shiny right on the top. Serve it today with a beautiful flavor mochaccino ice cream.